Good morning. It's the 27th of June, 2020 today, and I've moved from Batis Ofse to, I have no idea, I'll have to look. I'll put it up on the screen. I can't remember these Slavic names. Um, it is 10.44 in the morning, and I thought I'd check into my new hotel, Hotel Titris Soria, but the front desk lady was by the book Check-in is at 1400, 2 o'clock, and darn it, even if the hotel's empty, I can't check in till 2 o'clock. So, I'll roam around this town, again, name unspecified, and fill you in. Haven't been here yet, so let's see. Been walking for a few minutes, and this is the first thing of interest I've found. Some very nice old cars. I love this style. I wish they still made cars like this. Much better looking than any of the garbage today. Anyway, nothing else interesting. Couple of restaurants, couple of hotels. There's a park. So I've been walking around for a little while and I think I may have made a mistake booking this hotel without coming to look at the village first. I don't like it here. Um, everything's spread out. Just doesn't have a good feel. And you can tell that it's not popular. The parking here is free. We're in Stripsky, Plesho, and Smokovitz, Smokovets. The other places, parking costs. So that should tell you something. Even the view of the mountains isn't very good from here. And I doubt the hikes are nice. It looks pretty barren. This looks more like a skiing place. They've cleared out a lot of the side for ski slopes and gondola. Here you can see the ski lift right there. It's not operating though. But yeah, at least I have a car so I can go back to strip ski plus show and stuff. I think it's 25, 30 kilometers. So that's all right. And I've got a hotel with a wellness center, so. It's a bummer though, paying three three times as much as my last place. So, no, four times, almost four times as much. So, a bit disappointing that I don't like the village. Try to make the best of it. I got a week here, see what happens. I got bored walking around the village. It's only 11.40. Sat down for a blueberry cake and some coffee. Which are just, okay, the cakes. Seems like it's made with Bisquick. It's not anything special. But the days of being interesting just because you were a foreigner, gone. Nobody cares. Speak English. Nobody asks where you're from. Nobody does anything. I'm not sure if I blame open borders or if I blame smartphones. But I think I'm going to blame smartphones because I blame them for everything. When you can see anything from around the world you want to look up, what does real life matter? Real life's boring. You can talk to anyone from around the planet. So, yeah, just another thing I hate. In three months, I've been asked by one person where I'm from and what I'm doing there. So, yeah, that really takes away from traveling. It, you, just, you can't meet people anymore. You have to use an app to meet the person next to you. It's retarded and really boring. So, I've got, what, two and a half hours before I can check in. I think I'm gonna go to Poprad and do laundry. I gotta find a laundromat, so. Because I don't have a smartphone, I will just drive around and find one, make it exciting. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I had no luck finding a place downtown, so I had to stop and use Wi-Fi, use my laptop, and I found this place in a shady residential neighborhood. Took me a while to find it. It's just to the left of that block of flats around the corner in an alley. And I went and looked, it's pretty nice. It's all brand new machines. It does the automatic dispensing of soap and softener and all that. Not as high tech as the Hungarian bubbles. This one doesn't take credit cards, it takes coins only. So I had to go to the shop, ask for change, not a word of English from the cashier. I can understand that since I'm out not in the city center. 
So I bought something small and asked for change in coins and she said no. I mean, it took about two minutes to get my point across. I'm still not sure if I did get my point across, but she said no. So I have enough to do the wash and I will have to go buy another can of soda or snack or something to get more coins for the dryer. So yeah, it's good. Or at least I can wash my clothes. I will see you from inside. There's my laundry going. One hour left for the wash. I can't read any of this. So there's A, B, and C, 450, 5, or 550. Don't know what any of it means. I had 550, so I went and see, see what happens. That was terrible. It's now almost four o'clock, so time to go check into the hotel. This neighborhood is awful. Everyone's, every family, pregnant, four kids in tow, tattoos everywhere. It's like three mafia bars right here. And then it's nothing but residential area. It's three schools in the middle surrounded by blocks of flats, so it was very boring. I just read the Kindle the whole time. And yeah. So long, Pop Rod. Back to the mountains. Just got into the room, and the day continues to be outstanding. The hotel is empty, judging by the parking lot. I am given a room on the top floor, thankfully, fourth floor, but it's in the elevator lobby. I'm right in the middle of the hotel, so I'm gonna hear the elevator if anyone comes up. And my view is fantastic. I have a view of a football pitch and the playground. So I'm in the mountains and have a view of nothing. Not very good for almost $100 a night. The room is standard European room. So great. I will go try the wellness center sit in the spa or something. I get two hours per day. That was included in my rate. And then dinner time. Also half board was included in my rate, so I have breakfast and dinner. Hopefully dinner's good, but judging by the day, I'll say not. Finished at the wellness center, and it's quite nice for a hotel place. There's swimming pools with all the usual European stuff, the mushroom where the water falls off the side and you sit on it and the little loungers in the pool where it bubbles on your back and there's even the little circular jets where you zoom around that I, I love them but this one's tiny it's only two meters in radius or something but still better than nothing um there's a sauna also and I get access to that which is nice because the cost for two hours from someone not staying at the hotel is 20 euro or something like that. So it's a nice benefit. The sauna, if you're uncomfortable with nakedness though, it'd be a problem. You're no bathing suits allowed. You get a sheet to wear. Uh, little kids though, they run around naked going in the saunas and pool. And old people, they don't care. So there are ugly boobs just hanging out and ugly guys just hanging out there. So yeah, if you get uncomfortable easy, don't go to the sauna here. Uh, what else? So that was nice, it's a nice benefit, especially after the hikes, I can come back and go there. Great, I'm down with that. The room though is annoying me. The hotel is old. This seems like an old communist place. If I can show you the bathroom, you will notice straight ahead, that there is no curtain and the shower head is low. This is straight European style. You're forced to take a bath anytime you want to bathe. You have to sit in there and use the shower head around you as you sit down in the tub. I got two paper sachets of shampoo and the soap is there on the wall, which I'm okay with. I hate the little plastic bottles. It's so wasteful. This is, it's fine. Not a big deal. Uh, the lights above the mirror did not work. So I went down to the front desk and told them, and I got one fixed. I guess it was too difficult to fix both of them. Half the job's better than not completing any of the job, right? 
So thank you, mechanic. At least they were quick about it. They did it while I was in the pool. Just, eh. And the towel is like sandpaper. It's barely bigger than a hand towel. And just, I mean, it gets the water off me, but not in a nice way. So, there's that. Now it is dinner time. So let's see how this day ends. Well, I was denied entrance to the restaurant because I didn't have my mask, which I always love this. The guy, you know, taps his mask as other people are walking by to get food without masks on. I'm like, really? Does it matter? The one second I have to tell you my room number and then I'm gonna take it off to eat? But whatever, came back to get my mask because it requires it. Some other things, these rooms are still keyed. You need the key inside and outside to lock the door. So like right now, my door is open. And as you can see, I am in the elevator lobby. And also, the designer of this hotel was a moron. Here's the hotel, perpendicular to the mountains. So no room in this hotel has a view of the mountains. You're looking out on a football field and whatever this is, a park. So, but from the very front of the hotel, the lobby, you do get a view of the mountains. So there's that. So, let me go try to eat again with my mask on. I will be back. That is dinner finished. And it was decent, it's buffet style. Uh, bacon filled dumplings, the fruit salad, the canned fruit salad you get in the US, the, uh, I, don't, I don't know, bread. There weren't many options, but it, it was okay. Um, Cordon Bleu, it's okay. The problem is all drinks cost. Water, soft drinks, uh, like one euro fifty for a Pepsi, beer costs every everything costs. So this was a mistake. It really wasn't worth it. And I know better. Why would I want to eat dinner at the same place for a week straight, especially buffet style, when I could try different restaurants and find what I want each night? But it's what I did. Uh, other hotels in the area were fifty dollars more a night, and if I went to a Panzio or a Pension, it was cheaper, but all of them that I saw allowed pets, and I'm allergic to cats and dogs, so this was, for multiple reasons, the best I could pick. Not happy about it, but I still got the hiking, and that'll take up most of my day, and that's what I came for, so I have that. And do that tomorrow morning, so look forward to that. Have a good day, and I'll see you tomorrow.